Hi, my name is Hamed Arab. I am a jewelry designer and 3D artist. In this video, I want to show you how to set unit measurement in ZBrush. First, I want to load a primitive object from tool palette. Uh, you can pick cylinder cube or anything for example in this case let's select a cylinder then click and drag press t or press this edit mode button to switch to in fact edit mode to avoid any if I drawing any additional uh, objects then make sure to select make Poly mesh 3D. In fact, this is the case when you don't have any object in your scene. Uh, but if you already have a project, so you can work on uh, that object. Here, I want to show you how like bring an object in ZBrush and uh, set a measure unit measurement. Now, next step is to go to uh, the plugin. I want to click and drag it here to the uh, right side, uh, right tray. Uh, we want to use Scale Master. The scale Master is a plugin as a default. When you, you when you install ZBrush, you have access to it. So you, when you go there, you should see this uh, plugin. First step is uh, selecting a slider tool, uh, a slider to soft to size. So just before that, uh, make sure, uh, in fact, the unit you want to, in fact, uh, use is active. In this case, for jewelry, we usually use millimeter, and as a default, the thing we have is millimeter. Uh, so I you always stick to this one by selecting a slider uh, to sub tool in fact uh, you would see uh, the measurement of the loaded object in this slider which is 2 to 2 in all uh, directions by two units uh, which here we can even if we select set scene scale, uh, it could uh, we pick two millimeter, like based on the millimeter, or if you want to convert to centimeter, so it would be 0 0.2 centimeter. I select this one. Now, how I can change it? For example, I want to use it as a ring ray or as a reference for ring size, a uh, mandrel. Uh, so uh, when we create a ring, we can rely on this one as a reference to make sure uh, the ring does wouldn't go inside of the uh, this mandrel or cylinder. Uh, if here I change this slider to, for example, let's imagine uh, the inner uh, diameter of the uh, our ring rail is seventy. Uh, 17 millimeter uh, and we want to in fact scale this uh, cylinder to in fact from 2 to 17 millimeter uh, by changing this number and pressing enter uh, we have the number we want to uh, if I resize our sub tool in this case our cylinder if you want to have different number in the uh, different direction, you can turn off this ratio button. Uh, for example, in Y direction, I put 3 millimeter. So in Y direction, it would be 3 millimeter. Then resize sub tool. Uh, when all is active, it means uh, rest of the. If you have more than one sub tool in your sub tool palette. Uh, rest of the object would be a scale proportion or resize proportion. Uh, so 
I select this one. Now it is resized. And even if you go set scene scale, you see here the numbers we have. And the way in ZBrush you can make do measurement is by using uh, transpose tool. So if I press W or E or R to activate uh, this uh, transpose, uh, in fact, uh, movement or primitive uh, uh, editing tools, we see if you use latest version of uh, ZBrush or the most recent one uh, we have a uh, gumball 3d here uh, or gizmo uh, gizmo uh, which we need to turn it off by pressing y on the keyboard or pressing on this turn it off uh, this button now we have uh, transport line here uh, which was a older generation for moving and rotating and scaling the object which we can use it for measurement to do so I can hold shift to go to this view click at this corner hold the shift and then uh, bring the uh, cursor of the mouse uh, to the other side release the left key the mouse button uh, and then uh, release the shift key from the keyboard if you look at top left corner of the uh, software you could see the measurement is three millimeter and if i do same thing with front from front this view click drag hold shift to have a straight measurement and we have 70 let me do it okay 17 yes so it's the way we can measure the thicknesses the gap the spaces between object in zbrush uh, and also we can export our object uh, in exact measurement we want and uh, don't worry about this small uh, decimal number as the basic brush works but in fact the actual number is 17 millimeter i hope you find this uh, video useful if you have any question you can comment below and i will try to uh, back you and reply you as soon as possible